Hello, so today is Thursday, February 1st, 2024. Man, <clears throat> I hope and pray that I don't have to keep doing these videos all year. I hope and pray that I get to see you guys, I get to talk to you guys, I get to be with you, and I get to be your mother. Um, <clears throat> I actually was going to take you outside, so I'm going to go outside in a little bit, but I want to show that, oh, it's not, it's backwards. I forget about that. Um, so it says, it says, where God guides, he provides, um, which has been my motto for a while. Hi, Hadid. <laughs> he is, um, replacing our... There's light bulbs on the porch, but um, they weren't LED, so now we're switching them to LED. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the switch for you. Are you got? You're good. No, it's on and off, so. Okay, cool. <coughs> All done. Turn on, so. Thank Even you. Even though they turn on down, that's annoying. They're but. just opposite. Yeah, so. Whoever installed the lighting in our house, at least, okay, so I will say this. So most of our switches, the way that they installed the lighting, which by the way, that, that's gotta go. I'm not a fan of that. So I need to pick, take a picture of it and put it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, <clears throat> but most of our light switches are opposite. Can't get my fingers to go the right way. There we go. <laughs> Most of our light switches. So to turn them on, you turn them off. To turn them on, or they're the opposite. So, um, <clears throat> which is frustrating. But at least they're the right one. When we were at the condo um, on the lake, that was really frustrating because I'm going to sit in one of the chairs outside on and the porch. You, the um, you don't have to pull them down now. We have these curtains. I think I've talked about them before. Over there. There we go. And um, we tied knots in them. We tied three knots in them to weight them down so they wouldn't knock around. It's fine. We can do it on a weekend sometime if you want. We don't have to do it now. And I have the ladder right here. Yeah, if you want to. If you have time. So he asked if, if I want the curtains down. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably just going to put them in a pile in the garage for now. Um, and then maybe before summer, I will wash them really well and then put them back up if we need to have them up. I'm not quite sure what the use was to them. Maybe it was to block the sun out. It's hard to say. I don't know. We don't have direct sunlight because it's like opposite of the house so it's not like the backyard really gets it um <clears throat> but maybe i kept the mosquitoes out you know we we do have a pond or a lake right across from the house so maybe the lake brings in mosquitoes um and maybe that helps keep them out i don't know it, my guess is probably as good as your guys' guess. Um, <clears throat> wow, there's like a clump of dirt on one of these light bulbs that he took down. Is that a nest, babe? That's that stuff thing. I forgot what they called it. Is it bugs? I think so. Ew. So that was one of the light bulbs he took down that um, <clears throat> that we'll just throw in the garbage. We don't need to keep it. It's not LED. And I was hoping I would find These somebody who LED. could use those. Those two are? Oh. Yeah, Did you take them out? Just They're the soft. Oh, the soft light. light. We like the, the daylight ones, like the white daylight. Um, <clears throat> so, but the LED stuff is really important like it saves you a ton of energy especially here in texas where for whatever reason electricity is really expensive i don't know we haven't seen the electrical bill yet so we're like oh what is it gonna be uh, i don't know in colorado it actually 
Yeah, everything was super cheap. The gas and the electrical, I think, definitely. Gas, water, electrical were definitely less than 200 bucks. Somebody's coming to the line. I will go inside or go out to the front, maybe. We did hire someone who does um, our yard work. Um, so that's nice. So Hadid doesn't have to worry about it. And Warren and Clara, when you guys, when you're reunited with us, you won't need to do it either. <laughs> I would rather spend quality, quality, quantity time with you guys rather than having you know. I do think it's important to do chores. I think it's important to do things for sure. Um, it helps build character in you. So I do want to be supportive of that. Um, <clears throat> but we'll find things that we can do together. You know, um, doing the lawn, that's not really on my agenda to be doing together. But maybe doing stuff in the community um, to help or, or the church or something like that. But <clears throat> probably not yard work. Um, it's, it's, you know, it, in certain states, it's like Oregon was expensive to hire someone. I don't know what it's like in Washington. But here in Texas, it's super cheap um, because, yeah, I'm just going to say it's very cheap here. So same thing with like house cleaners. It's very cheap to have someone come keep up with cleaning your house. Um, you know, I'm talking like the bathrooms, the floors, that kind of stuff, not not the laundry and kitchen stuff. Like, that's important for, like, I need to do that. I need to be able to... Really, the guy's like following me. He's not really following me. Our yard's just not very big. Um, so... I'm gonna go back to the front. Actually, you know what? Oh, it feels so good. I think it might be um, the high 60s right now. And I'm wearing a long, well, it's actually kind of a, a heavier kind of shirt. Not heavier, but something I would wear under my ski gear, <clears throat> for sure. So I am plenty warm right now. So I'm gonna come down here to the lake, the small lake. Um, anyways, I just want you guys to know I love you. I'm thinking about you. I've been praying so much for you guys and this situation. Um, I just, I am so confident that God is doing a work in all of our lives. I just know it um, beyond a doubt. There's like... I, I don't doubt it. God is doing something in us. He is what I call, it's a sanctification process of what he's doing in us. And that, which means he's doing something amazing and incredible that I, I can't even understand. Like what he's doing in us to build us in our character and our strength and our identity <clears throat> for whatever is to come. Um, because he doesn't do things in vain. I mean, think about Job, the story of Job. Um, if you haven't read it lately, I, I really recommend reading it or listening to it. Warren, you knew how to play it um, on the internet. And you can pick, it was on um, some sort of holy Bible app. And you can also pick the function where it's just the dramatic version. So it's more of a story um, telling version. It's still the same words for the Bible, but it has a lot of like dramatic voice to it. Um, so um, I would recommend listening to the story. Um, and anyone else who is listening to these videos, because I know I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one going through what feels like hell. What feels like God has deserted me. Um, I know I'm not the only one. I know that there's many people 
in their own situations, their own scenarios in life. And the story of Job is such, it's encouraging. At first you're like, oh my gosh. Um, I definitely can relate with Job in so many ways. And I'm sure some of you guys can too. <clears throat> but it ends beautiful. He never turns his back on God. Um, he questions God. Now I have to say, I, I was very angry at God in the very beginning, especially when I found out that you guys moved to Washington. I was very angry at God. In fact, there might have been some choice words that I definitely had to repent of later on because um, because I wasn't good. But I was angry. I was crying and bawling and angry and mad at God and how could you, how could this happen? And devastated, um, like Job. Um, so I guess in a way you could say I turned my back. I, I didn't turn my back on him, like as in I don't trust you and I don't believe you. I definitely questioned him. I wondered how could a loving God allow this? Um, and not to put myself on a pedestal, but how could a loving God who, like, yeah, I know I have to be really careful about what I say in my videos, <clears throat> but God knows my heart, and most of you who are watching this, who know um, our story, you know what I mean by, I questioned how it could happen, and, um, and I had to trust him. I dug into his word. The first eight months was the, was the worst time of my life. And I had to trust and pray and decree things that I couldn't see happening. That I had a hard time believing would ever happen. But as I just believed that God wasn't going to stop with me. God wasn't going to stop with my kids. Um, his word... <clears throat> is true it hasn't changed he is the same God today as he was thousands of years ago he's not any different and as much as it doesn't make sense to me it makes sense to God because he knows the end of the story and I'm trusting God with the end of the story I don't want to go through all of this <clears throat> the last three and a half years of well, really, it's, it was before that. It was like another seven years of my marriage of just <clears throat> complete, um, it was a struggle. I was warring no stop, non-stop um, praying for our marriage. So, <clears throat> it's been going on a very long time, and... I just know, yeah, I don't want to waste all of this, what God is doing inside me internally, what God is doing in me to be able to use me. I don't want at the end of it just be like, oh, peace, you know, peace God, it, it's all on you. No way. It's not, I'm, it actually says that we have to work out our salvation. That means we actually have to work out going to heaven um, the church that said oh just say a simple prayer and you're good that was a lie from the pit of hell yes the prayer allows the salvation to come in and then we have to work it out which means there's another scripture it says about working it through to the very end well what it, and then about losing it well, how could you lose your salvation? You can lose it if you don't work it out. And so, as difficult as, as this has been, and I have to, there are times that I question God. I just know that I know that I know that He is the same God 
and I look at the Lord's been giving me a lot of Old Testament stories of what God did um, <clears throat> how he um, I'm gonna take this trail here usually in the morning I see people teeing off so I wanted to walk over here and see where the the tea was for the golf course but um, <clears throat> Job went through hell. I don't know how many years or how long it was, but God restored Job at the end. He didn't only restore his family um, back to <clears throat> the way it was, even though his children were dead. They were deceased, but <clears throat> he had more of everything. And he pointed the glory to God. And, and I want to be that. I want to be the person who says, God, this sucks. Um, I don't understand it and I don't like it. But I trust that whatever you're doing inside me is going to be for your glory. Because ultimately, he's the one who saved me. He saved me from myself. He saved me from an entire, the rest of my life living a lie in so many realms, like so many things, not just in my marriage, but in many things. So, um, <clears throat> hmm. I was thinking that there was like a tee off. Maybe I took the wrong side of the path. I thought that they all gathered over here to tee off, but I don't see Huh, I don't see any tea spots. Maybe people gather over here and then they, um, <clears throat> and then they, hmm, practice putting, maybe? I don't know, this is kind of strange. I thought it was over in this direction. I'll have to take a look tomorrow morning because it's in the morning that I see them gathered together. Or maybe they meet here and then they go to the golf course. Maybe, right? It's so beautiful here. It's so serene. Um, the people are really friendly. They have different cool things. They have a dueling pianos. At the yacht club on, on one of these days they always have events which is really cool all the different events of the social events of people gathering together um, I think that's really neat so it's like a community here and I really like it I'm gonna let you guys go because it's 18 minutes I didn't realize it oh my goodness I'm so sorry um, I love you guys I miss you so much Father God, I just ask that you please bless Warren and Clara. Lord, you shine your favor upon them. Lord, I thank you that you are continuing to bring everything that is in the darkness, everything that has been a lie, that you're bringing that <coughs> into, <coughs> you're bringing that into the light so that we can so we can know the truth. Lord, I thank you that nothing stays hidden. And every, everything, every small detail, even of my life, God, and of their lives, um, it doesn't stay hidden from ourselves and from others, Lord. For a conviction of the Holy Spirit, not for condemnation, Lord. I bind any spirit of condemnation. But, Lord, for conviction so that we can be purified. So we can work out our salvation, not through your works, God, but through sanctifying us to bring us in to our identity as a child of you, God, into our authority as a child of God. I thank you, Lord. May And I just continue to pray. May your will be done in Warren and Clara's life here on earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, I lift up my oldest son, Lord God, may your will be done in Wyatt's life here on earth as it is in heaven. May your will be done in my family's life, Lord. Everyone, 
including my brother and my sister who have um, strayed away. Lord, may your will be done in their lives as well, here on earth as it is in heaven. I thank you, Father God, in your heavenly name. Amen. I love you guys. I love you. I miss you guys so much. Claire, I had a dream about you last night, and it felt so real. It felt so real. I love you. I miss you. I miss you both. I love you. Bye.